What's going on, y'all? Hanging and banging, people. It's Thursday. 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 That's actually, it's Wednesday. This is on a Wednesday. Wednesday? Yeah, it's going to be Wednesday. Oh, well, we got to get our days right. My right, DJ didn't tell me Tuesday. what day was on. <laughs> I am Eric K. J. That is... Mr. Magic yelling over this music. Yeah, oh, yeah, we'll take care of that. And I am Clay Morris, the guy who's in charge of the music. And uh, yeah, I must be going deaf or something. Where's my hearing aid? I'm going to get one of them horns. Oh, man. We're, t- we're here to talk about predictions. This is Amazing Great Sports Network. We're here to talk about the predictions of what's going to happen. And what do they call this? Uh, the divisional round. That's right. This is the divisional round. There are only four teams left. Two, four, I mean, actually, there's eight teams. There's four in the AFC and four in the NFC. And these four teams are going to battle it out to see who is going to go on to the next round. Okay, I guess the the, the, the final in the AFC and the NFC is what we're going to find out. Late, ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk about something. Now, before we get into the prediction, let me let me make let me ask you guys this. The Atlanta, ha- the Atlanta Falcons interview Bill Belichick. What's your prediction on whether they pick him up as a coach? Well, you said, ladies and gentlemen, are you speaking at the panel or the or the, or the uh, general public? <clears throat> gentlemen, the, the uh, Atlanta Falcons have interviewed. I'm talking to you two. <laughs> the Atlanta right. Falcons have interviewed Bill Belichick. What is your prediction on them picking him up as the coach? All right, Eric, you want to go first or you want me to jump in there? I'll go first. I said it last week. He's going to Atlanta. Okay. Uh, I, you know what? I think it'd be a weird fit because these folks down here in Atlanta are still very bitter. About, I mean, we, they if you if they see a sign that says twenty eight to three, they lose the, they lose their mind. Man. You know what I mean? <laughs> they they're still real bitter about that whole thing. And it was Bill Belichick that was the coach of the Patriots that you know that reminds them all of that. With that being said, man, you know, I, I just don't think that Bill Belichick's going to like all the distractions that are down here in Atlanta. I, I think he's used to a New England atmosphere. I think a New, uh, an Atlanta atmosphere would be a daunting task for a coach like him. However, if they did pick him, I think there would be a definite contender. I, I, I would pick them to come out of the NFC South because it was really, con- I wouldn't even say competitive this year, but I think he'll make the difference. Um, I, I I just don't think they're going to pick him. Um, I think it's a done deal. I think he's going to be the next coach. And with that, we can move on to the first game. The first game is going to be the Houston Texans. Yeah, the Houston Texans. They used to be the Houston Oilers when they had Earl Campbell and Dan Pastorini and those guys. But now they're the Houston Texans. And they're traveling to Baltimore, not for the Colts, but the Baltimore Ravens. That's going to be a 430 game on Saturday, and my prediction is Houston. Uh, If I have to go second, my prediction on a thriving Texas and a thriving Baltimore, uh, both with great quarterbacks, Baltimore quarterback, maybe a little more savvy than Texas. We'll take a few more chances in Texas. But I'm going to have to go with Baltimore on this one. Woo. Yeah. You know, I, I think some folks are going to fall for that trap and look at what C.J. Stroud did against Cleveland. And they're going to they're gonna go with the Texans. But I'm going with the Baltimore Ravens. There you have it, folks. Houston, Baltimore, Texans, Ravens. We covered our bases. One of us is going to be right. Yeah, I mean, and, and who's going? Who's going? How much of those tickets? You can get those for one hundred twenty-one bucks. Hey, okay. That's, that, that's that's the cheapest. The Baltimore, you know, Boston, Baltimore's a cheap city. Come on, Baltimore, raise your level, raise your bar. Okay, attend some games. I'm not even going to go there. I'm just going to leave it alone. That's Next a, game, that's a, home, that's, that's a home game for them. That means that that Houston have to become a better traveling team. No, I mean, no, they should want the tickets. I mean, nobody seems to want, uh, for some reason, nobody wants to go to Baltimore. And with that, Mr. James, you're up. 
<laughs> next game, next game, we got the Green Bay Packers coming in there at nine and eight to play the 49ers at home at 12 and five. Let's see the Packers, the 49ers are five and three at home. Ticket sales are 221 bucks. And although Green Bay has been really good lately, I'm going to have to lean towards the 49ers at home. Whoa. Yeah, you know, I think this is I think this is when the better teams uh should prevail. Uh I think we've gotten rid of all the the weakness and I'm going with the 49ers. Well, 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 well. Mr. I guess, I guess I have to go I guess I have to go for Green Bay because you guys went for the 49ers, right? You kind of like boxing me in here. All right, I'll take Green Bay. What the heck? <laughs> No, no, no real logic. You just wanted to. <laughs> well, we, we kind of made this agreement. Well, you did actually two two televised uh, sessions ago that the person who's picking last should not follow suit and just go with the other other two guys just for, you know, continuity. That he Wait. has to step out like a man in a tuxedo and make himself known. So we agreed upon it. And uh, so I'm doing it. Uh, you know, the, the humor behind that is you saw me just jump in there. I didn't bother to ask, do you want to go next? I just jumped in there so I wouldn't be last. <laughs> uh-huh. I get it. <sighs> I tell I you, next, Paula, you're next. next it's, game. it's a tough world out here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the next game, we got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers traveling all the way up to Motor City, Motown, playing the Ford Field, playing the Red Hot Detroit Lions. The Detroit Lions have been, I would say, America's team this year, to be honest with you. Everybody's been watching them. And I think, you know, Dan Campbell's got his boys ready. They've been ready to play for him for uh, quite a while, even when their record wasn't that great. And I think they're going to continue. I think they're going to pull it out this weekend. I think Detroit is going to the NFC Championship game. My gosh. My gosh. And you know what I'm going to do here? I'm going to agree with you and see what Mr. Eric James does after me, but I'm I'm agreeing that Detroit's going to win this one. They're actually underdogs. Detroit's underdogs in this. Five-point underdogs. Uh, it's going to be a good game. I mean, do I have that right? Anybody else have that same information? Um, I got them by six, six and a half points. Oh, well, they're favored by six. Right. <laughs> there we go. I'm taking Detroit. Who you got, Mr. James? I'm not going to falter, and I'm not going to play into whatever y'all got going on because I'm going with the Lions all day. <laughs> you know, I kind of like the Lions, man. I love the Lions. I'd like to see them go somewhere this year. I like their energy, man. I like their energy, and I, I like the fact, again, I watched them, and I was very, very angry seeing them go for it, go for it, go for it, not taking the points given. But I think that was a, a plot that they threw out there to make other teams think they was going to play that way, and they didn't do it when it really came down to it, and they won. Now, the Lions, they won the, the NFC Central, right? Correct. And and this is – with this, if they actually win this, then they're going to win the, – well, they'll be in the NFC Championship game. Correct. I don't know if that can happen. What do you guys think? I think they're gonna do it. I don't think the I don't think the fact that it's the NFC Championship game has anything to do with the actual game itself. I think they can pull it off. Mm. I mean, you know, I mean, crime has been the lowest in years, in thirty years, in in since you know Detroit has gone on this run. So this is this is all I can say about this. Go well, Lions, go, go. No. You know what? Crime was at an all-time low until you did that. <laughs> <laughs> that in itself was a crime, bro. <laughs> Whatever you're doing in Detroit, keep doing it. That's all I gotta say. That, that, that that matter of fact, is a crime, keep bro. it going. Keep it. Keep it getting even better. Start helping old ladies across the street with their grocery bags, or even paying for them or something. Start coming out of your heart, people. Start coming out of your heart. Okay, I guess I got the last game coming up here. Sorry for that little sideshow. We have the Kansas City Chiefs with days of Derek Thomas for Derek Thomas and, and some other things that happened there. But 
great city, great team. Patrick Mahomes now going against the Buffalo Bills and Josh Allen. And some people have said, my compadre here, Eric James said, it's the new Tom Brady versus Josh Allen. I said, well, if that's the case, then Patrick Mahomes is Tom Brady and Josh Allen is Peyton Manning. We'll see what happens. But I am picking the Chiefs. Um, do you want me to go second or what do you want? No, Eric's er, er, the next guy. Eric's the next. You're, you're not er, getting away from guy. this one. <laughs> I, I already know who I'm going with. Hey, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to call my lifeline on this one. And Chiefs being 11 and six, um, six and two when they're away. Bills being wow. 11 and six, seven and two at home. And this is, um, their time to show what they're really made of. I'm going to say a big upset for the Bills. Wow. Bills are going to win this one. Wow, you guys took pressure off me. I I, I can't. Wow, you can't get pigeonholed now. I, yeah, you know, I, yeah. You can go either um, way. You're not you're not pigeonholed I, no more. Uh, <laughs> I, hey, listen, I'm just I'm going with the I'm going with the, I'm going with the Bills. Yeah, go with the Bills on this one. I knew which way I was. I was going to go with the Bills regardless. Um, I think, you know what? They still Kansas City still got issues with dropping the ball. Kelsey dropped a handful of the other day. Um, that I just think I think the Buffalo Bills are going to pull it off. I, you know, I I I just like the bit. You know, I like their colors better too. What do you guys think? <laughs> Well, it's red, white, and blue. So yeah, I go for that. I mean, yeah, that 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 red and white, that kind of orangey red stuff is like it's a turn off. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's let's go with the nice the nice blue. That's why I like Detroit so much. They got the nice pretty blue. And now, now that's now that's too. That's just too over the top. Detroit's blue. <laughs> Detroit's blue is just like no. This uh, it's it's the kind of the powder blue. Yeah, that's just like yeah. Uh, okay. You know what? Did I pick Detroit to win? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I might have to go back to it now. <laughs> wearing those powder blue different. uniforms, that, that alone would get your butt kicked. That's like wearing the eye patch. It gets your butt kicked. No, you, nah, you, it makes you, you play better. makes you play better because you pissed off that they made you wear them. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's <laughs> – you're not scaring anybody with that powder blue. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man. Them lions, boy, we're going to do it. All right. Well, I think that's about all we got for you, ladies and gentlemen. Those are our predictions. I guarantee that I'm going to go four and zero, and if I don't, I'll buy lunch for my two compadres here. Next time we're together. Oh, uh, we, we, we got we got to we got to show that live. You actually signed in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm live, live at the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to Detroit for that one. <laughs> If Detroit wins, my gosh, man! I tell you, I, I I like to see Detroit win. Well, think yeah. about it. The last couple of last couple of games has been upsets, man. So I don't think who we think should win will win. I think there's gonna be some upsets in even these last four games here. So I and listen. I know one thing: if Tampa Bay beats Detroit, we're gonna have to fly to Atlanta just to make sure that Marlins okay. I Tampa, listen, man. I I, I think Tampa. I think Tampa is a good. They, they they got a good little thing going on, but they, they I, I don't. They don't have enough. Bigger, I, bigger, I, bigger feeling got enough. Yeah, I I don't think that's going to sustain very long. I'm I'm not knocking on 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 um Mayfield. He's playing well. Like I said, once he ate that humble pie, man, he's playing much better. He played um, he played he played better in uh in in Cleveland than Deshaun Watson has played. Uh oh, you he, knocked him off. That pissed him off. He done knocked him off, man. <laughs> and with that, um, you know, magic yeah, what is going yeah. on, man. And with the, and with that, we're gonna sign on out. Because Mr. James has somewhere to go, places to go, people to see, and things to do. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for showing up on the Magic Great Sports Network. We are happy to be here and i'm going to give a little closing prayer as we get out of here father thank you for bringing us together we thank all of you who are within our voice who hear my voice who hear our voices 
We hope that we've been a blessing to you. We hope that we brought you some happiness. We hope that we've made you laugh. We hope that we've made your day a little bit lighter, gave you a little bit more information, and made it a little bit brighter. Father, thank you for giving us the opportunity to be out here in this world and make a difference in any way that we can. We ask all that are out there to try to show a little kindness, to try to say a prayer today for yourselves and for your family members, because intercessory prayer works. Say a prayer for them. Everyone's going through a hard time in, in their own space. So say a prayer for those that you love, that they can, they can work the, the things out. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Got back in time just for say amen. I caught the tail of that, but let's be kind to each other. Let's be kind. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, we're out of here. I'll, I'll throw in the music. Let me see. 